Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited for this video because I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes and showing you five must-have Shopify apps that I add to every single store that I run. You should not start dropshipping without first adding these apps to your store because you're gonna have less sales and overall less profitability. So be sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm gonna be going behind the scenes and showing you how to install and update each one of these apps inside of your Shopify store. And if you're new here, my name is Bruce and this is my channel, EcomCon. If you have any questions at all, be sure to comment those down below or shoot me a DM anytime on Instagram, again, at EcomCon. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now let's talk about how to add reviews using Ali Reviews. The app is one of the best ones available. You can see it right here with a 4.9 star rating and over 12,000 reviews. The app is great if you have a new store because it allows you to easily import products from AliExpress and other websites. It also gives you the ability to follow up with your customers via email and SMS marketing to begin getting reviews that way as well. They do have a free plan available. However, it's pretty limited as you can only add five reviews per product. So I'd suggest using the starter plan. It's only $9.90 per month. There's no limit on the number of reviews you can add to the product pages. Plus you can use their bulk review importer, which makes the process go a lot more smoothly. There's also access to all these other items. So let's go ahead and import the app to our store and set it up. So we'll select this button right here to add the app. And then we'll click the button up top to install the app. Now we have a few different options to begin customizing the app, but for now I'm gonna leave it at all the default settings and just select next. Before we start importing reviews, I'm gonna change my plan and sign up for the seven day trial to the starter plan. Once you sign up, we can then begin to bulk import reviews using the tool right here. So under import reviews, we're going to select the button right here to explore now. Now the very first step is to add the Google Chrome extension. Very easy to do. Just select the button and we'll add it to Chrome. Go to AliExpress and find your product, then copy the link. And we're going to select the button over here to import reviews. So we will paste the URL right here. And select import reviews. If you want to be more selective about the reviews that you're adding to your store, you can choose to update the import settings here. So you can pick between the date range. You can choose the number of reviews you want to add. You can change the, the AliExpress shopper's name to stars to keep it more hidden. You can choose to add reviews with content, without content, or all, count, all content. You can pick reviews that only have photos or reviews without photos. You can skip reviews with these banned keywords. You can choose to translate everything from AliExpress to English, and then you can also select which countries you want reviews to be imported from. The default looks like this, but you can go ahead and update them however you like. Be sure to add reviews to all of the products. And if you wanna manage the reviews, you can do so easily here. One of the tools that I'd like to use a lot, really easy to do. You find one of the best reviews, one that has a good image, and you can pin it to the top. So now that review will be the first one that appears on the product page. Now that we've imported the reviews, we want to make sure that they're visible on the product page. So we're going to go to manage review widgets and we're going to select star rating. And then we're going to select the link right here to set it up. Now, this is what the default page looks like. The first thing I'm going to do is update the rating color. I want it to be a yellow or a gold. I think something like that is perfect. And we can choose between either having the quantity show up or the rating score. I'm going to keep it at quantity. Then I'm also going to leave this uh, as the default settings right here. Make sure that this is set to show the star ratings and then click save. And now when we go back to our website, we can see that all the reviews are live on the page. So we have the star rating right up here at the top. And then all of the other reviews, the written reviews, the ones with pictures are down below. Adding reviews is crucial before you start driving traffic to your store because customers won't purchase unless they see some four or five star reviews on the product page. Now let's jump into the next app. The next app that we'll be adding to our store is Uplinky Sticky Cart. The app increases conversion rate on stores by allowing customers to click the add to cart button no matter where they are on your product page. They have a free plan that includes everything that we'll need. So to add the app to our store, we're going to come up here and select this button. And once the page loads, we're going to select the button up top to install the app. And we'll choose the basic plan for free. Inside the dashboard, we can update the settings to change how we want the add to cart button to appear on our site. I think that the default settings are set up pretty well. I don't think we need to make any updates. We want them to display on all devices. I don't think we should add any animation uh, such as pulsing, flashing, or bouncing to the add to cart button. I think that looks a little bit too spammy. The location, I like it on the bottom of the screen as opposed to the top of the screen. 
And to enable it, all we have to do is select this button down here on the bottom right. And it really is that simple. That app is gonna help increase your conversion rates like that. The next app that we'll be adding to our store is Candy Rack. This one is an absolute must have because it's the ultimate upsell and cross sell app that's gonna help us increase average order value and profit margins on our store. It will be especially helpful once we find a winning product and begin scaling, we can add similar products to our website and offer those to customers in their checkout. It comes with a 14 day trial and then costs just $29.99 per month. This is an absolute steal and you will quickly make your money back using this app. So to add it to our store, again, we're gonna select this button right here. And once it loads, we're gonna select the button up top to install the app. And then be sure to approve it. It comes with a 14 day trial. And then after those 14 days, they will begin billing you $29.99 per month. So select approve. Now inside the dashboard, you can see there's all types of offers we can create. So we can do product upsells, smart upsells, the same product upsells, incognito shipping, first in line, customer service, all of these really cool options, gift packaging, unwanted gift return, all, all kinds of really cool options here. But the one that we're gonna set up right now will be the first product upsell. To get started, we need to select which product we wanna use for the upsell. So I'm gonna use this modern electric water dispenser. We'll add it just like so. Then we can update the description if we'd like. I think that this one is fine. The default ones are typically pretty good inside the app. So we're, we'll keep it at, get it before it's gone. We'll apply a discount, so we'll do 15% off to give the customers some incentive to purchase the product. Um, scrolling down a little bit more, we're going to only display this on specific products. We'll go ahead and choose the Stir Magic, just like so. Now we can select the placement for where we want this offer to be displayed. So we can have it right after they click the Add to Cart button, after they click the checkout, it can be a post purchase or it could be on the thank you page. The one that usually works the best is the add to cart button. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is. And then I'm just going to select save. And just like that, the first upsell has been created. Let's go take a look at how that looks on the product page. Now, when a customer adds this product to the cart, the upsell appears right below it and they can quickly add it to their cart as well. Now, when we view the cart, we can see both products are in here and the 15% discount is automatically applied. Be sure to set up the product upsell and then check out some of the other offers that you can create inside of the app. One of the other ones that I really like setting up is the same product upsell, so you can offer customers the same product for a discount and create a bundle for them to purchase. One of the first things I do anytime I start a Shopify store is install Candy Rack. It's a must have app that you should set up before you begin driving traffic to your store if you wanna increase revenue and overall profitability. Now let me show you my favorite app to set up so customers can track their orders. The next app that we'll be adding to our store is Tractor. It's the best order tracking app available that allows customers to track their orders in real time. They have a free plan available, but it's only good for 75 orders per month. So once you scale that point, it's a good idea to move over to the starter plan and then to the essential plan and so on and so forth. Uh, so to get started here, we're going to select add app and then we're going to click the button up top to install the app. Here you can choose your plan. Since we're just starting out, we're gonna select the free plan. On the next page, enter in your best email address. On this page, be sure to enable the app because we're using CJ Dropshipping, which is similar to these other services. So we're gonna to have to enable since it's a dropshipping service. Select next. And our setup is now complete. You can check out the video to learn some more details. To create the order tracking page, we're gonna add it to our main menu. So we're gonna select online stores and then navigation. And then we'll be adding it to the main menu. So we'll select add menu item and we're going to name it track your order. And then for the link, we're going to have to put in apps backslash tractor backslash order. We'll select it like so, and then click add and then save. Now, when customers come to your website, they can easily track their orders by selecting the link up top, entering in their order number and their email address and then their information will automatically populate right here. It's gonna save you so much time dealing with customer service by allowing customers to just go to your website and track their orders. I've also found that having that track orders page helps to increase conversion rates because when customers go to your store for the first time, they can see that once they place an order, they'll be able to track it right on the website. The last app that you have to set up is SMS Bump for text message marketing. Text messages have an open rate of over 90%, so there's no wonder why this is the best app to drive additional sales for your store. 
Now you can create custom campaigns. You can do abandoned cart recoveries. You can set up all kinds of flows inside of the app. It's 100% a must have to add to your store right away. It's free to install and sending text messages costs just one penny. It's incredible the ROI that you'll see using this app. I've already released a full step-by-step -step tutorial where I take you behind the scenes of a Shopify store where I spent $100 to generate almost $20,000 in revenue. That video is already on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check it out. I'll have it linked down below. If you made it to this part of the video, I'm impressed. I know that sometimes going behind the scenes like that can get pretty boring. And so I really appreciate you sticking through the entire video. Those are my top five apps that I make sure that I install to all of my Shopify stores before I begin driving traffic. And again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment those down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram at ecomcom. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more content. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.